Okay, so uh, this is Barry Boot, and uh, I'm going to show PyTop OS today. Uh, so let's just exit out of that and launch PyTop OS and hit boot. So this is running from SSD because it's a Barry Boot image, it's very easy to do so. Here's how it starts off uh, with this What Are You Thinking of Making? Uh, and I think it's designed, and you don't have to show this on startup, but I think it's designed to, to help you find exactly what you're looking for. So I guess if I put in draw, yeah, so LibreOffice draw comes up. Uh, what happens if I do photo? Is there anything for photo? Image magic, Minecraft Pi, MT Paint. So it's just a way of finding out what's on there rather than doing the normal thing of going through programming, education, and so on. And I'll go back to that. But uh, if I get rid of that, and let's go to their web page. And you can see here, introducing PyTop OS, best OS for makers. With an intuitive interface, built-in search portal, and a full suite of applications, our award-winning OS makes designing, coding, and making easy. So there's all sorts of coding software in here. So if I go to products, you've got here, so what have we got? Accessories. the foundation kit, a metal bento box containing 14 components. So it's all sorts of things about making and playing around with electronics, PyTop speaker, PyTop seed, PyTop 3. Funny how that's a PyTop 3, but that's a PyTop 4, which looks completely different. So PyTop 4 is a programmable computing device that combines digital making, coding, and practical projects. It's not my side of the Pi that I go for, but I know it is a, a huge thing on the Pi. But it's great that people do it because that's what gets software up and running. So this Pi laptop, so what's Seed? What, what difference is Seed? So it looks like a laptop. Oh, I see it's a, it's a monitor, flagship laptop, and a slimmer form factor, $114. So 14 inch screen, modular components, adjustable viewing angles. It's hard to work out what that's supposed to be in the picture. It looks like that's a slot. I guess it is just a, just a monitor um, and then you can use maybe a Bluetooth keyboard with it. But I can't, I'm, trying to, I'm confused as to what this is underneath it. So let's go back to that laptop, the Pi Top. Oh, it's not cheap, is it? Laptop gives you all you need to make amazing projects and bring your inventions to life. It's the perfect tool to help you learn to code, create awesome devices and systems and take your knowledge to the next level. Oh, I see it only works with the Pi 3. Good job I didn't order one of those, isn't it? So, if I go back to Pi Top 4, I know I'm supposed to be doing the OS, but this is interesting. Uh, yeah, so the, so the Pi Top 4 is something completely different. Every Pi Top 4 comes with a Raspberry Pi 4. So it's a whole kit that you get. Okay, uh, that probably deserves a different video, doesn't it? So let's go back. I don't think there was anything else I needed to cover on the main page. See, the web browser works fine though. Yeah, I think I've covered that. And then education, success stories. Yeah, it is, it is interesting, the, the, the laptop there, the Pi Top. And here we can see it in its application. I guess if you're going to put it into classrooms and things, uh, it's uh, maybe they do better deals for education because uh, that is quite a steep price. But uh, obviously the Pi is very good for coding. Right, so let's, let's just have a look at the operating system itself. Let's open up Hot UK Deals. Now this is based on 32-bit Raspbian Buster, uh, so it said on uh, one of the write-ups I, I read on it. There we go. Yeah, and you can tell that the web browser does scroll very nicely in Raspbian, uh, so it loads up nicely. I wouldn't have thought it's got the tearing fix, so we can try that. But that might... The vents uh, fix for tearing on YouTube might be applicable to this because it's running Raspbian. Been told it doesn't work with the 64-bit version of Raspbian, um, so you still get the tearing on YouTube on that. So let's go for something with a bit of movement in it. And 
Oh, didn't mean to click on that. Oh, I've only got 720 max. Oh, okay, let's just go with 720. It's trying to go full screen. I need to do a video on this uh, because it's going to get views and it's very easy to create. Yeah, loads of tearing. Okay, so the tearing is still there, but um, but that is very much the Raspberry Pi. Uh, obviously, there is a, a fix for Raspbian and also WebOS works perfectly well uh, with, with YouTube and various different video sites. So that's the search portal down the bottom. Uh, we've got eject our media. That's obviously Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and audio. It looks it's got got like an Android look to it, I think. So and what have we got on the on the Pi Top further Chromium files? What does files look like? Yeah, it looks nice, nice and plain. Uh, and if I do go and network. Yeah, it's a good idea to build it on Raspbian because it is it is nice and fast. Public connect. Yeah, it all comes up like no no worries at all. And that's a that's a nice nicely laid out file manager. It's a little bit the colours are a little bit bright for me, but I like I think the icons are decent. I think I would just maybe if I just change the background it would be it would be enough. In fact, I'm gonna do that. I don't usually do that, but it I did look at the other backgrounds that are available uh, and the wallpapers are either worse <laughs> or or worse again just just super bright i would i would rather something was was less sort of over the top so i can change that and i can probably yeah i can uh, uh so i put some things in here to this photo the other day. Let's pop that on there. Yeah, see already it looks just just nicer to use. I think I think the look of an operating system uh, plays a big part. And I think just with a nice background, uh, it is much more pleasurable to look at. So let's go through these. So programming, uh, well, I don't really do the programming side of it, so you can look into that yourselves. Code like Genie, MU, Scratch 3, Scratch 2, uh, Sonic Pi, Education, PyTop Further and Smart Sim Digital Circuit Designer. Office, you've got the full suite there, Lat. Have LibreOffice, which is great. Internet, Chromium, and then a VNC viewer, access remote computers. We've got VLC Media Player, Jack Audio Connection Toolkit Interface. I don't know, I haven't come across that before. Uh, and then Graphics. I don't know any of these. Display and Edit Image Files, Image Viewer, Simple Painting Program. And GIMP on there as well. So yeah, good, good for graphics, uh, games, Minecraft Pi obviously, and Python games, system tools, check for updates, disk uses analyzer, simple task manager, and activity monitor. So check for updates. What does that do? Oh, okay. So it has something in, so you don't have to go into terminal to check for updates. Where's it gone? Is it still running? Okay. Well, we'll carry on and see if it does something. Oh, it is doing something. Disk usage analyzer, right. So accessories, archiver, calculator, file manager, SD card copier. Oh yeah, that's the one on, on Raspbian, isn't it? That's all right. So help, which is normal for, for the Raspbian. Oh, PyTop documentation there as well though. General and PyTop buttons, components, and mini screen. Preferences, yeah. It's, it, it is like a skinned version of Raspbian, but with all the PyTop OS things on top of it. Very nice, actually. I, I, as an operating system, I think it's very accessible, looks decent, and worth using. The only thing is now that Raspbian has gone 64-bit, so hopefully this will go 64-bit, uh, and then you'll get all the benefits of that as well. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.